Megyn Kelly has fashioned herself as a champion of the number Me Too movement, filling her NBC talk show, Megyn Kelly Today, with brave women fighting injustice But a former colleague says it's all an act, that she's disrespectful, Iron Halperin, a Fox News makeup artist for 20 years who retired in 2016, told Page Six She's not for women. She's extremely mean and rude to women. Halpern worked with Kelly in 2009 when the latter co anchored America's Newsroom with Bill Hammer. Halpern said that Kelly always got her makeup done at 8 a.m. but showed up 30 minutes early one day and tried to kick a female reporter out of the makeup chair. I told her, please have a seat in the green room or start your hair first, Halpern said And she said, no dot I want to get done and want to get done now dot Megan snapped her finger and pointed at the reporter and said, you, get out of the chair Eventually, Kelly got her way dot the next day my boss called me dot Megan went and lied to management and said, Iron can't come in on time because she has childcare issues, said Halperin, a mother of three, who started work an hour before Kelly's scheduled makeup sessions. Halperin asked to be reassigned. Another Fox employee interviewed for this story also demanded a switch due to Kelly's attitude. Fox News did not return calls for comment. She was difficult and demanding, Halpern added. And if you didn't do what she wanted, she would try to get you in trouble. Now, it seems, Kelly is in trouble herself. Since Imagine Kelly Today launched an NBC's 9 a.m. weekday spot in September, the former Fox anchor, famed for her hard hitting questions, has been struggling to find her footing in the bubbly world of morning news Her January Nielsen ratings in the 25- to 54-year-old demographic are nearly 30% lower than they were for Tamron Hall and Al Roger's show when it was in the same time slot last year NBC execs are said to be growing weary of Kelly's drama, such as questioning Jane Fonda's patriotism in a January monologue See also the view skewers Megyn Kelly over Jane Fonda spat Megyn Kelly raised eyebrows on Tuesday, causing a huge commotion A high-ranking NBC veteran said that the show atmosphere is so tense that staffers frequently cry on set Kelly, 47, has tried to reposition herself as a warm, Oprah-like figure, dancing with Today colleague Hoda Kotb on air and peppering her show with cooking segments and weight loss experts But the tenaciousness and combativeness that made Kelly Fox's prized anchor may spell her doom at NBC, where, sources say, she is viewed as unrelatable for morning viewership On the first episode of Megyn Kelly Today, the news personality, who had worked at Fox for 13 years, proclaimed that she was kinda done with politics Not everyone is buying the transformation. You take someone who had a show... on Fox about politics, and then you say, well that wasn't really me That's ridiculous, said TV producer Shelley Ross. According to the high ranking NBC veteran, network execs and talent question Kelly's longevity at the Peacock Network. She is hated inside the Today Show and is seen as tarnishing the brand, out of control and selfish, said the NBC source, explaining that celebrity interviews are a key element of Today, and Kelly is playing with fire by attacking guests such as Fonda. According to a show contributor, producers avoid using Kelly's name when booking guests, opting to just say today with the hope of not alienating big, wattage stars 
In the show's first week, Kelly enraged two mega-celebs. Deborah Messing publicly expressed regret for appearing on the program after Kelly asked a Wool and Grace fan whether it's true that you became a lawyer and you became gay because of Wool. Then Kelly pointedly asked Fonda about her plastic surgery, leading the actress to balk and later complain that it was weird. But it was months later, after Fonda had poked fun at the incident during a Today interview with Hoda Kotb and Savannah Guthrie, that Kelly retaliated, dredging up Fonda's decades-old participation in Vietnam War protests. Honestly, she has no business lecturing anyone on what qualifies as offensive, Kelly proclaimed on air. She added that Fonda's plastic surgery is tough to ignore. One celebrity publicist said that Kelly is tainted among the Hollywood crowd. She's a little rough around the edges for the Today Show, said the flat. It's my job to be smart and plan, and I don't think she's a smart move. I won't even let my NBC talent go on her show. SAG is a loose cannon. Despite NBC shelling out $23 million annually for Kelly's three year contract, the network's source said that the general feeling is that she will not last three years. NBC declined to comment for the story. The show contributor said the atmosphere is really negative. Dot, dot, producers just want to get through this. Dot, see also mention Kelly staffer fired after reporting toxic and demeaning work culture. Writer Kevin Blair was axed after complaining about the two. <music> Kelly worked as a lawyer in Chicago until 2003 when she decided to give journalism a go and moved to Washington. She was hired by an ABC affiliate as a general assignment reporter and joined the Fox News team in New York City in 2004, contributing legal segments during Weekend Live. At the time, Kelly was married to Daniel Kendall, an anesthesiologist. In 2006, the pair split because, as Kendall told the Daily Mail in 2015, I wanted a wife and she wanted a wife. We both needed someone to cook and clean and support us. In 2008, Kelly married cybersecurity CEO turned novelist Douglas Brunt, with whom she has three young children. By 2010, she landed an afternoon show, America Live, then was promoted to primetime in 2013 with The Kelly File, becoming Fox's second most highly rated anchor. When Trump attacked Kelly during a 2016 presidential debate, stating that you could see there was blood coming out of her eyes, blood coming out of her wherever, Kelly defended herself gloriously and became a feminist icon. NBC wanted in. With her Fox contract up in 2017, NBC began courting Kelly in 2016, finally landing the star in January 2017 for a rumored $23 million a year contract, $2 million shy of former Today anchor Matt Lauer's paycheck. She also makes more than current Today lead anchors, Hoda Kotb and Savannah Guthrie, combined. When Andy Lack, chairman of MK Universal News Group hired Medjin, he told people, I have no idea what she'll do, but I've got her, said the NBC veteran. A source close to the show said that this is a nonsensical claim and that Lack always had a plan. It was eventually confirmed that Kelly would take over the third hour of Today. Before her debut, NBC introduced her to viewers with an evening news magazine show, Sunday Night with Medjin Kelly, which aired this past June. Kelly immediately came under fire for interviewing conspiracy theorist Alex Jones, who claimed the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting massacre never happened. 
she pissed off the audience she needed to be watching Medge and Kelly today, said one media insider. How do you not properly position her going into the Today Show? You want her to have. Dot dot the most positive image possible, and what do they do? They do the exact opposite. The Sunday Night Show, which bombed, finishing third behind CBS's 60 Minutes and ABC's America's Funniest Home Videos reruns, was supposed to run for 10 episodes, but was ultimately cut down to eight. Despite promises of a spring 2018 return, the media insider said the show's been killed. TV producer Ross said that Kelly was a miscalculation by management, noting she's the wrong personality for the morning audience. I was the executive who brought Diane Sawyer into Good Morning America in 1999. She recalled assigning Sawyer a story set in an overnight sleep lab so that people could see the cool blonde sans makeup and find out who she was outside of that anchor chair, said Ross. While Cop and Guthrie hit tough topics with an emotional touch, Kelly doesn't adhere to the unspoken protocol of gentle morning television. Ross said that Kelly popped at Fox, but dot 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 morning news is about talking to people, not just talking at them. It's not about monologues. The contributor said that Kelly lacks the natural rapport of other Today hosts. She recalled the time when Kelly turned combative after she teased the host on air for questioning a tip. I felt it. Imagine immediately became nasty. There are some rules when you're doing segments, added the contributor. If you're a host, you go along with whatever the expert says. If you eat something and you don't like it, you don't say you don't like it. If you think a tip is dumb, you don't say it. But Medjin doesn't play along. She rolls her eyes a lot and says, Oh, come on. It's like she's trying to divorce herself from the cheesiness of morning television. The program, which has a live studio audience, a first for Kelly, is scrambling to fill seats according to the source close to the show, who said cameramen have to shoot around empty spots. Another Today source said, the show has been selling out for weeks and we've been turning people away. But as of Friday, only one show was sold out through the end of March via its online ticket service. While Midge and Kelly today is up 18% in the 25 to 54 demographics since its launch, ratings still aren't where the network wants them to be, and it's affecting the Tanny. M viewership. According to Nielsen, Lee and Cops have dropped 20% since Kelly's show first aired compared to their 2017 numbers. Meanwhile, the NBC veteran said that opting not to have Kelly join the other Today anchors at the Olympics was a sign that producers were creating a wall between her and the rest of Today. You can feel Andy Lack and Noah Oppenheim, NBC News president stepping away from her. But the source close to the show said, they are pleased and proud of what she's done so far. As the publicist put it, now is the time to let Kelly excel at what she does best, hunting down big news stories and giving subjects probing, meaningful interviews at a time of day when it feels right. They need to switch her to specials or investigative reporting, said the flat. Anything to get her off the 9 o'clock hour.